Well, uh, yeah, in in a way, yes. I mean, what what um, what what I strongly uh, say uh, is that what we're experiencing is a cosmic game, and it's a cosmic game which offers um, awareness, consciousness, the infinite level of us, the the, 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 the the disembodied infinite awareness. That's what we are. We're awareness. Yeah. And, and, and the, when the awareness uh, comes to experience this reality through the physical body, it's like uh, the physical body is like the computer that takes us on the internet. You see, if, I, if, if I'm sitting here now um, and, and I go on the internet, actually, I don't go on the internet. The computer goes on the internet. I observe the internet through the computer. Um, and that's fine as long as me, the, the guy sitting here with the mouse and the keyboard, is in control of where the computer goes and, and what I think of where the computer goes. Because I'm, I'm now observing this reality from a point of view of consciousness. I'm, I'm observing into this world, but I'm not of this world in terms of the point of my observation. What would, um, what would happen uh, if uh, that connection was lost is that now the computer level of reality would be deciding where I'm going on the internet or where it's going and what it thinks of it. And, and that's very much the theme of the way the control system works. It wants to disconnect um, the five sense level, what I call body mind, the, the, the computer connection level um, of awareness from uh, consciousness. So, so that the, the uh, body mind level uh, is is basically driving the bus, and and if you uh, uh, disconnect from that higher inspiration, that higher intuition, that higher knowing, which which we all are, mm-hmm. then um, s- then you you start looking the other way to get a fix on who you are, where you are, the nature of reality, what's going on in the world, and what to make of it, and you're looking in, if you like, to the cosmic internet. Um, to, to get a grasp of that and, and what the control system has done, it's got control of all the forms of information within the, with, within the, um, uh, the reality uh, on this planet, which you then look to to get a fix for who you are and where you are and mm-hmm. what's going on. The education mm-hmm. system, the media uh, and, and what have you. Uh, religion uh, in its manipulative form. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and that's the idea. It's to, it's to disconnect us. Now, what... What the, I would suggest this cosmic game is, is, is laid out to do in the way that I've just been talking about with this vibrational cycle it goes through, which elicits different levels of awareness and information, is it's a cycle which offers awareness um, a choice. Do you want to come in and experience a time of suppression uh, and what that's like and what it's like to feel disconnected from the, your true self? Um, or uh, do you want to come in and, and experience this period of this golden age where the, every, everything's connected and you've got this incredible... Um, all possibility, all uh, creativity, because um, I had this, um, I had this series of pictures in my mind a, a few years ago now, um, when I was sitting in the bath, and first of all, I saw um, clearly billowing energy, uh, which I took immediately to be consciousness. Why I did that, I don't know, but that just just came to me immediately. Then this eye appeared hmm. inside this energy, and in front of the eye appeared a telescope. And then at the end of the telescope appeared the Earth, the solar system, the universe. And the last movement was, was for the telescope to morph into a human body. And it, it, it was what I could see very obviously from the very simple sequence. It was the, what it was profoundly saying, which is that the body is a lens, just like a, a computer through which consciousness um, experiences this reality, observes this reality. But, be, the, but the, 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 the body computer mind level has has awareness itself it's not as expansive uh, and 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 all knowing as as um what i call consciousness but it has the ability to think and to observe and to react to uh what it sees to make decisions and because of the control system and the suppression most people on the planet it is changing hallelujah to that but most people on the planet are absolutely filtering all their experience through this very, very low level of awareness called mind. And only by getting us in that state can the few control the many on the scale that they do. Yeah. It's that old and idea feel, that, the, excuse sorry. me, like the mind is, a, is a, a wonderful servant but a terrible master kind of idea. That's, that's absolutely perfect. Um, uh, mind is there to be a vehicle to serve consciousness to have an experience within this reality. Mm. And there are wonderful experiences to have. You see, when... when um, you are in a non, 
uh, embodied state, um, you gravitate to vibrational levels that um, you are that sync with where you're at. So, you know, if, if you're vibrating to, say, Radio 1, you're not going to be on a level of Radio 2 or Radio 4. You're going to be on Radio 1. What, what these um, virtual reality universes are, these cosmic games, as I call them, they're a vehicle which, through the, 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 the connection, the, the body-mind, um, consciousness of infinite different states out in the, in, in the realms of disembodied awareness can experience the same reality together. They can look at each other through the same eyes. It's a, just a wonderful uh, way and a wonderful uh, place to, for all levels of awareness to experience each other. Mm -hmm. Really, it's just yeah. fantastic. But, but what's, happened, what, 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 what's, what's happened in this period of, um, of suppression is we have lost that understanding and it's now coming back yeah. and as we as we um, open our minds i mean these these phrases patrick we use all the time they're they're, they're profound truths hmm. when we open our mind open our auric field if you like and connect with these higher levels not of some you know some other entity ourselves hmm. then um we our vibrational state changes uh, we connect with these truth vibrations we we uh, uh, decode from them much higher levels of awareness than we've had up to this point knowledge understanding knowing and and and, and the, the the river moves into another uh vibrational state which 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 creates a totally different um uh, experience in this reality and our kids and grandkids are not going to live their whole lives. It looks like it now. My goodness, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. They're not going to live their lives in an Orwellian, fascist, communist, global state. They're not. It's yeah. coming down. Uh, it's not going to seem like that for a few years, but it's coming down. In my lifetime, it's coming down. And it's necessary then, I guess, for everything to kind of come to the surface and to become aware of all these things as part of it and may be uncomfortable for us in the next few years. But it is a necessary, David, I, I, I suppose, element of a, a spiritual growth to see these things, it's almost like the oil, you know, to see how yucky oil is, you got to come to the surface, you know, and people say, wow, you know, maybe that's not a good thing to be getting this stuff out of the middle of the earth. And what's it going to do? Yeah, you know, um, when you um, spin a plate on a, on, a, on a table and when you first spin it, the cycle of the spin is very long and slow. And then when it comes down, it gets faster and faster and faster until hmm. uh, at the end of the cycle, it goes rat -a -ta 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 and stops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this cycle is very much, the, these cycles are very much like that. What, what, this is why we're, we're, the, what these truth vibrations can quite rightly be called the quickening because hmm. it is like a quickening. And so um, what, what happens is things happen in, in, to our perspective. It doesn't really uh, happen like that uh, mm -hmm. in reality, but to our perspective, more and more and more and more happens in shorter and shorter and shorter what we call time. Yeah. Uh, and and, and uh, as this, this epoch, this cycle is coming to an end, so all the debris of that cycle, all the, the hidden, all the, the, the dark stuff, all the, the debris, all the, the cesspit level of it, all of it has to be come, to the, come to the surface where it can be processed. And that's what the truth vibrations are doing. They're processing this stuff. And to do that, they're bringing it to the surface. That's and a it, nice visual. Kind of, yeah, I like that. That's a nice visual, what you've just painted there. Yeah, it's like, um, uh, it's quite funny, really. It's, it's a hoot, actually, <laughs> when I observe it, because mm -hmm. um, we've got the control system here, which... Um, thinks it's the Im immovable object, but it isn't. Um, and then we've got the irresistible force, which is this epoch-changing um, energetic transformation. And the control system, through wishful thinking, and, and not, not least uh, uh, considerable amounts of ignorance of what's going on, um, they think they're in control completely. They think that the, the, their agenda for centralized global fascist dictatorship is a done deal and just got to play out. They're in for the shock of their eternity. And that too will be their experience.